Hi guys, so welcome back to another video. So I've been uh, meaning to do a to do a video on this foot placement stuff uh, for a while, but I keep putting it off. So it's what we're going to be covering. So if you go to Edit Plugins and you want to start a third person uh, template, go under Animations and Enable Animation Warping. But that has a foot placement node in it that we need. So under characters, manne uh, mannequins, animations, and ABP Manny, this is where we'll be working out of. Uh, you can press this skeleton button up here at the top, and I'll go over some things. So there's a problem with IK bones, and there's a real reason why I don't use them. And the reason why is because they're not actually scalable. Uh, so if you have a character that's taller than this character, say they're this tall, and they have a wider stance, but uh, this animation was made for this short character, uh, then when you play this animation on the larger character, uh, most of these bones will translate all right uh, in an in in a appropriate manner, but these IK bones down here will not. These IK bones will be... Uh, around the same position they're in now where this female character's uh, feet are and you can try to use the retargeting options right here to try to get them to scale up with it but it's not going to work uh, the these IK bones will still be in the wrong locations uh, they just don't retarget that's basically it uh, they, they don't respect anatomy and there is a solution for this. Uh, so if you right click on the root and you go to add virtual bone and root, and I'll uh, set a link in the video right here at this moment for that video on virtual bones that explains what virtual bones are and how they work. I think it's important that people watch that, but we'll call this foot root. And we'll go to add virtual bone and say foot L. And we'll rename this one foot L. And then uh, we'll say foot R. Now, I named these the same as those other bones you might think, but I really didn't because each of these bones have VB space in front of them. And you can't take that VB space out. Uh, so you can only rename everything after the VB space. So those virtual bones will respect anatomy. And so if there's a character with a wider stance, it'll point to where his feet are and not to where her feet are. And it'll completely respect anatomy in that sense. So over here, we'll just go ahead and fix this up on the control rig. And then we'll set up that other foot placement system so that you can compare uh, the two. This one isn't nearly as sophisticated as that other one. So when you first open this up, you'll notice that we only have the IK bones. We don't have those virtual bones. So I'm just going to right click on here, go to refresh, and I'm going to find him uh, and just choose the SKM Manny Simple. And so you'll see it refreshes that. Now they did have some other bones in here, but I don't even think they were actually using them. Anyway, so you should see these uh, virtual bones here now, and that's what we're going to be using. So we'll just select that foot left one. And you can also just type in VB here. Let's select VB foot R. And then let's see, VB foot R, VB foot L. And so if you were using your own custom character, uh, with this animation system or this control rig, then after doing this, uh, the feet will act correct, correctly. Uh, they should anyway. I have not brought in a custom one, so I can't confirm that for sure. But over here, and that's it. So we just needed to replace those IK bones with the virtual bones. Uh, those are scalable. Now there is a solution. Uh, there is a problem where the the feet will drag, and I believe that's due to 
uh, the use of animations where the virtual bones have not been constrained and so they're not animated and so when this is using those virtual bones and those virtual bones are animated they're not moving and so the feet will stay exactly where they are uh, so that should uh, fix it it should still work the same as it did before so if you were using a custom character uh, it should be working now so Anyway, so you'll see that the feet weren't rotating uh, whenever we were walking up the slopes on this other method. It's a bit more sophisticated, but it's even easier to set up than a control rig. Uh, so you'll, I think you'll like this one. It's so far more sophisticated. So the first one we need is foot placement, and then we need leg IK. So we need both of these for it to work properly. And then we're just going to plug this in here. All right, so there we go. So some people use graph and you can experiment and see what the difference is between uh, graph and manual. But I'm not actually going to show that. I'm just going to show up the, the setup itself. And you can come in here and mess with the settings. This is meant to be a very short video just to introduce you to this. Uh, I might do a video later where I go into more detail on uh, some of these other settings. But really, that's something you can experiment with. So I, might, I may not do a video on it. So for the IK foot uh, root, just type in VB and select VB foot root. The pelvis is going to be the pelvis, and then we need to set these two. I will go ahead and uh, tell you that uh, this max offset, this is 50 centimeters. That means the pelvis can only be lowered or raised from its current position, 50 centimeters. In some cases with taller characters, uh, you might need to make this larger. With shorter characters, you might need to, to lower it. So uh, it depends on your character. So right here, the FK foot bone is the foot that we want to move. So that's going to be the foot uh, itself. In this case, we'll do foot R first. And then the IK foot bone is going to be the, the virtual bone. So this bone, it's going to, this bone is going to do like a, a line trace. It's going to find the ground. It's going to move this virtual bone to that position where it wants the foot to be. And then it's going to interpolate the foot's current position towards uh, that target. Uh, and so in order to rotate the feet properly, we need some kind of uh, end bone on the foot. For the uh, many, it's the ball L. For yours, it might be called something else, but it needs to be a bone at the end of the foot, around the toes, where the toes are. So we'll type in ball and we'll select ball R. The number of uh, bones in the limb is important. Uh, some, uh, some creatures may need this to be three. So it depends on how many leg bones you have. This one has two leg bones. If you have more than that, then you might need to increase it. So this is foot L and then VB foot L and ball L and that's all we need to do so you can uh, set up speed curve uh, values and uh, disable uh, the uh, locking and stuff like that I might do another video where I go over uh, the locking curve and the leg curve and all that other stuff uh, I, I don't know I might we'll see but I'll go ahead and uh, set up the legs now this one just needs the virtual bone foot L or, v, or VB foot R if you want to keep it in the same order. And then the foot R. And this allows you to maintain the orientation of the legs. Uh, so this uh, makes sure that the legs uh, stay pointing in the correct direction. So VB foot L and foot 
foot L. And you can set rotational limits on the legs as well. And so if we do this, that's pretty much it. That's all we have to do. And you'll see now, unlike the other one, this one actually will rotate the feet to keep them flat on the surface. You see, even in extreme situations, uh, it'll still try to keep it flat on the surface. So there you go, guys. Now, uh, you'll notice that it looks kind of funny right there. And that's because it's trying to, uh, that's the actual uh, plant settings. So this plant settings, it tries to determine when and when it shouldn't have that locked, but it's not perfect. So what we need to do is we need to come over here to the alpha input type and change it to bull. And we'll do that on both of them. And then we're going to bind this to is falling. So if they are falling, uh, actually we don't want that to be is falling. Uh, we want it to be the opposite of is falling. So we'll just do a not here off of, oops. We'll do a not boolean off of this and we'll promote this to a variable and call this enable for IK. Because I don't think there's a, a way to tell it that you actually want the opposite of this. So we'll just change that over to the enable foot IK. And we need to set blend settings or it won't uh, have a smooth blend. It'll just snap on or off. And so I'm going to uh, give it uh, a fifth of a second for it to blend in and out. And that should be fine. I'm not going to set this mode from linear, but you can set it to quadratic uh, curve values and stuff like that to ease in and out of the enabling and disabling. But for this, that's not really necessary. And so now you'll see it still works and it's not snapping funny whenever we jump anymore. And that's because we're disabling it whenever we jump. And there you go, guys. That's basically the rundown of it. Uh, I like this one right here. It's far more sophisticated. Uh, it does a lot of the heavy lifting for you. And that's pretty much it. I'll see you in the next video.